Oh, Jenny, you are so cute. She is said to be the world's most realistic robotic animal. And I can tell you, she feels pretty real. That nose almost feels wet and a little bit squidgy. And these dementia patients at Las Vegas's prestige senior living facility seemed pretty pleased to meet her. You're a good dog. She's awesome. You look real. Look at those teeth. <coughs> What's wrong? <coughs> I can't help you. <coughs> Jim Henson's Creature Shop was responsible for the lifelike look, feel, movements and behaviour that have been built on top of this sensor-embedded, voice-controllable bot. There's a great deal of research on the benefits of live animal therapy for seniors with dementia. It helps soothe the behavioral and psychological symptoms and reduces their need for certain medications. The problem is many seniors can no longer safely care for or have a live animal around them. With the robotic animals, it's important to introduce them early in the disease progression so that they have the cognitive abilities to form that attachment. So when they're later stage in their dementia progression, that the, the animal is already something that they turn to for comfort. <laughs> it's a dog. <laughs> I thought it was a real dog. This is really quite a strange experience because the dog does almost feel real and sound real. And Everybody seems to be feeling that. But is that right? There are people that, despite explaining to them that it's a robot, um, actually still believe that it's a real dog. We've looked at that from an ethical perspective and we're very concerned about not tricking them. But on the other hand, you know, if it's giving them comfort, you know, that's really the goal. They like to suspend disbelief. They like to be able to relate to it as if it's a long lost pet that they might have known in an earlier time. I'd like to have you. Yeah, unless you sleep in bed with me. And she could be solving a problem here that's already been identified. We started a while back having dogs come into our community because we felt like the, the dogs were a method of, you know, helping with loneliness and, um, what we found is that we have to pay just as much attention to the dogs as we do the human. She likes you. Does she ever not like people? She doesn't. She usually likes everybody. Okay. It's a relief. Bad to design a robot dog that doesn't like people. Of course, not everyone loves dogs, though. What we find is actually the barking behavior in a real dog or in the robot triggers that fear response. And so one of the things that we can do in the setup of the robot is turn off the barking behaviors. Yes, this rechargeable robotic dog's behaviour is customisable via a smartphone app. But there are pros and cons to the whole thing. Just before we started filming, she had to be rebooted and it was really quite disturbing as she temporarily died. She clearly did bring joy though, and I could see the benefit of her being designed to sit on laps or raised surfaces rather than creating a tripping hazard on the floor. Other breeds and a cat are in development, but I was left with one real issue. I feel really bad we have to take her away from them. <laughs>